Now come Ruchma Naima, get a happy Saturday! Look at the tender, juicy lamb. Tender, juicy. Xinjiang cooking is chili pepper, cumin, and uh, Sichuan peppers. Lamb bread with uh, lamb skewers. Then the meal's ready. Okay. Uh, that's that's number 43! Look at number 43! Oh, my hometown is uh, northwest China, Xinjiang province. In China, I'm a, I'm a study agricultural animal husbandry. After five years, I apply immigration for Canada. So I'm looking for like two years animal husbandry job, but uh, all part time or something, you know, not uh, enough money feed my <laughs> my family. <laughs> That's why I change. I like cooking. And it's like a bring more, you know, passion. I normally I work uh, hotel like a breakfast cooking at breakfast at lunch. This is all the sauce. The noodle soaking in the sauce. It's called Da Pan Ji, the big plate chicken. Before I work uh, like a two or three job, uh, you work by yourself, you feel lonely. Early morning go out, night time come home, the kids already sleep, eh? can't see the kids. We started at the night market when I was 16 years old. I remember one day my parents coming to me and saying, hey, we've started a business, you're gonna help us sell, sell food at the night market. And I'm like, Wait, what? <laughs> For a majority of my life, we were doing night markets. So when I was like six or seven, up until now, when I'm 22. In the beginning, it, it felt a little bit more forced because it wasn't my choice. But uh, later down the line, I kind of saw the joy that our food brought everyone else. And I think that's what kind of won me around. And that's why I decided to also get a little bit more um, involved. So starting when I was little, like the very first thing that I was tasked with doing was like cooking buns on our little griddle. And I think when my parents started realizing that, you know, I could start helping them out a little bit more, they start putting me to work. Hey, 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 lamb bun, chicken bun, chef James special. I worked every year. There was one year where I moved to Seattle to run another tech startup um, that I was working on and I remember on Friday nights beating Seattle rush hour traffic to race back to Richmond to help out the night market and then after night market on Sunday I would like drive back to Seattle so I can make it in the office on Monday morning. <laughs> it looks hard but it's so sweet because the whole family is there to help each other. We know each other, you know. They help me help the family together. So I feel like a strong team. I think like before I used to think like, oh, you know, I can't work weekends. That means I can't go out with my friends anymore. And it's kind of changed a little bit where it's like, this is like a priority because family is so important. And like, I'm happy to be there because I know like me being there supports us. Yeah, every time you guys two there standing there, I feel very confident. So okay, mm. I'm okay tonight. So I'm not <laughs> worried. Wow, come Richmond Night Market, the last 45 minutes, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>